Hey, what's going on, everybody? Max here with Because Bitcoin. And today, for 10 minutes max, we are going to be talking about Bitcoin, altcoins, Bitcoin and altcoin pairs, and what I expect for altcoins specifically in the near future. Before we dive into the charts, guys, do me a solid. Please like the video and also subscribe if you are new here. We just sliced through 13K yesterday. So we're making a lot of progress and it's all thanks to you guys and your continued and consistent support of what we are building here because Bitcoin. So right, now what are we looking at here? So others is the top 10 or it's basically the entire crypto asset class minus the top 10 names by market cap. So it's basically your altcoin index. Uh, it's going to exclude Bitcoin and ETH and then like Stables and Solana and, and BNB. So it's just basically taking out the top 10 cryptos, but then it's the rest of the, the you know, the crypto world, right? So it's all of your mid cap and small cap altcoins, all right? And then we divide that or denominate that in Bitcoin. So what are we really looking at here is we're looking at a pair that we've created here, which determines whether it is better to hold small and mid cap altcoins or Bitcoins, okay? So... Quick little reminder here for those that are unfamiliar with how a pair like this works. And again, I will label this here conveniently for you guys. Others divided by BTC is the pair that we're looking at. Okay. Others BTC. When the chart is moving up like this, we'll put it in green. That means that it's better to hold, you know, small and mid cap altcoins than it is, com you know, compared to hold Bitcoin. If it's moving down, that means that it is better to hold Bitcoin than it is small and mid cap altcoins. All right. Now let's dress this chart up a little bit. All right. Because we have the Bitcoin halving in like four days. All right. So let, let's mark out the Bitcoin halving. So the next Bitcoin halving, and we're on the weekly time frame, so we can't be exact, is right here. So we'll put Bitcoin halving and we'll make the font bigger and you can see it at the bottom. All right. And then the next or the, the last Bitcoin having was, it was May. Yep, so right around here, May of 2020. And then the one before that was July, um, July 2016. So right, right around here. All right. So these were our Bitcoin halvings. Now I'm going to throw Bitcoin up on the bottom here, right? So we'll put this in candles as well easier to see and what we want to look at is you know when do altcoins really begin to outperform and additionally how do altcoins typically perform before uh during and after a bitcoin having so let's actually do this we'll move this up to the same pane above adjust this a little bit just to give us a little bit more a little bit more space to work with so again, this up top here is others BTC, and I'll I'll make this the same color as well. And what we are trying to determine again is when it's the best time to hold altcoins, and then historically, you know, what do altcoins do around a Bitcoin having? All right. Oops, this is not quite. This is this is it right here. So we're right around here. These are, and the, the halvings are not perfect to the day, right? But we're pretty close. These are basically where the Bitcoin halvings were. So let's mark out what's happened to this other's BTC pair before a Bitcoin halving. Okay. So basically we have rallied slightly. All right. So we'll start here. Um, yeah, that's fine. We'll just leave it right there. So basically we have rallied slightly. So leading into a Bitcoin halving, it has made some sense depending on how you want to look at it to hold altcoins. It wasn't crazy outperformance, but at least in 2016, it did move up. Bitcoin also moved up, but it looks like others, you know, did slightly better. And then after the Bitcoin halving, it actually bled a little bit, which means that right after a Bitcoin halving, it made more sense to hold Bitcoin than it did altcoins. And you can see here, Bitcoin was moving up. Um, so Others at this point was either, you know, moving up, but moving up slightly less than Bitcoin, which is why this other's BTC pair was bleeding, um, you know, or was actually moving down. All right. So let's let's keep it moving here. So let's go to the next cycle. You can see others BTC again leading into a Bitcoin having was slowly grinding upwards. All right. Same as the last time. Um, nothing crazy. Right. But it wasn't terrible to hold altcoins, you know, right before a Bitcoin having. 
But then after, and we'll move up a little bit, we actually dipped again, right? So right after the last Bitcoin halving um, in 2020, again, altcoins were outperforming Bitcoin slightly leading up into it. And then after a Bitcoin halving, altcoins, you know, small and mid cap altcoins actually underperformed for a little bit. Um, you know, same exact thing as in 2016, 2017 cycle. Now, again, let's look at where we're at right now. So very similarly, you know, others, BTC, it's actually made some sense to have exposure to small and mid cap altcoins around this phase of the cycle. You can see that since we bottomed out here, um, you know, altcoins have not only been holding up, you know, trading one to one against Bitcoin, but actually been performing slightly better since the low, similar to the 2016 others BTC move. And then also similar to this 2020 move where we were slowly grinding up and, you know, technically outperforming Bitcoin. Now, I wonder if we're going to see something similar again after the halving where we actually, you know, maybe see Bitcoin outperform others a little bit, um, you know, and then actually begin to underperform. And we do something like this where after the Bitcoin halving, others BTC bleeds, which again, a reminder, others BTC bleeding would imply that Bitcoin is actually a slightly better hold. But then following that move, you actually, that that is when you get the, you know, the kind of mania phase after that little slow others BTC bleed after a Bitcoin halving. So we'll put that in blue and we'll mark this out because you can see that although there is, you know, historically a slight bleed of others BTC after a Bitcoin halving, um, additionally, a little bit further out, there is dramatic outperformance and you really get some crazy alt season. Um, you know, I'm just taking a measured move. Let's just see how far out, you know, typically that, that will take you. So looks like you be, you, you started to get really serious altcoin outperformance against Bitcoin, you know, roughly 230 days after a Bitcoin halving. Um, and then again, we'll mark it out. Wow. Very similar 238 days. So that's that's pretty crazy that you know about 230 days you know plus or minus uh plus or minus and we'll put this on the bottom put this in the center and we'll make this bigger 230 and i'll label it days as well 230 days plus or minus that's uh that that's pretty incredible actually i i i'm just doing this live like i haven't really spent a whole lot of time doing you know analysis on this yet uh, but roughly 230 days out, both times is when alts really saw their pivot against Bitcoin, and we saw you know crazy outperformance um, and mania. So again, just a quick reminder: like during this phase, you can see here, um, you know when when alt mania really began, you know Bitcoin still moved up. Bitcoin was around here. Bitcoin still moved up right here, but it just means that altcoins moved up significantly more. So. This is this is very interesting. And, and I'd be curious to know if, you know, again, we follow the same pattern and, you know, maybe, you know, Bitcoin is, is a better hold for a little bit here. But then 230 days out once again, let's see, that would take us out into roughly end of 2024, give or take, you know, it's never going to be perfect. Um, end of 2024, it's kind of it makes more sense to hold Bitcoin um, than it does, you know small and mid cap altcoins but then you know maybe we get a crazy rotation so either way like it's not bad to hold to hold altcoins here like just be you know during this period this bleed period that we have seen historically which will we get that again nobody knows for sure um you know it doesn't mean that alts are doomed right let's look at you know let's just throw eth up on the bottom here real quick um here's eth down below put the candles on um you, know, you can see that you know during this period eth was just kind of moving sideways bleeding a little bit but then it you know went crazy and again similarly over here you know you can see that eth actually was moving up during this bleed period right here but it just wasn't moving up quite as much as bitcoin right and that's the that's the case for a lot of alts so just because the others btc pair is bleeding doesn't mean that your alts are going to necessarily bleed it just means that historically, it has made a little bit more sense to, in fact, hold um, Bitcoin through the halving and then rotate into alts. But so far, this has been a cycle, you know, largely dominated by the obvious being front run a little bit, which is why I think we've seen Bitcoin actually 
you know, show a lot of strength and make a new all-time high before having, which it's never done before. So before you guys go, please consider liking and also subscribing if you are new here. Definitely also check out the first link in the description below where you can sign up for our premium offerings. Right now you can sign up for our Discord, and within the next month and a half, you will be given free access to our new flagship product called the BB Terminal. It's basically a Bloomberg terminal, but for crypto guys, it's portfolio tracking, derivatives information, heat maps, high time frame DCA indicators, literally everything that you need to succeed in these markets, again, included in your Discord membership for no additional cost. A little bit about the Discord membership. We do over two hours a day of private live voice calls with Q&A with me and the rest of the Because Bitcoin team. We share all of our active positions private TA that we don't talk about here on YouTube or on X. Again, it's a really fantastic experience. If you are looking to elevate your trading and take it to the next level, definitely consider checking out that first link in the description below. Signing up sooner rather than later. And again, you will be gifted the BB terminal for no additional cost within the next month and a half. It's truly an awesome, awesome product. Second link in the description below. If you want to learn the arts of technical and fundamental analysis and get a masterclass on how myself and the rest of the Because Bitcoin team navigates financial markets, both crypto and legacy, definitely consider checking out the second link in the description below, which will take you to the BB Academy. We spent about six months building this out. It's very affordable right now. It is $199.99. You will get lifetime access to it if you pay now. Prices are going up soon. And again, if you want to expedite your journey towards navigating financial markets and learn all the secrets that me and the rest of the Because Bitcoin team implore on a daily basis to successfully navigate these markets confidently um, over many, many years, the BB Academy is for you. So check that out. That's the second link in the description below. But guys, thanks so much for tuning in. This was 10 Minutes Max. Please like it, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Take care.